Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances that made me laugh my butt off. These books aren't necessarily rom-coms because I know that not a lot of people love rom-coms. I don't love rom-coms all the time, but like these books aren't romantic comedies. They're just books that are funny, like romance books that make me laugh for whatever reason. Sometimes it's the author's writing style. Sometimes it's just like hilarious scenes or quirky characters. They're really fun. They make me laugh. I do have one previous recommendation video full of romances that made me laugh. So I'll leave that down below if you want even more recommendations. I of course have to mention the whole entire Mead Mishap series by Kimberly Lemming. I've read all the books in the series um, but I only own book number one which is that time I got drunk and saved a demon but every single one of the books in this series I was laughing my butt off. This first book is about a heroine named Cinnamon who ends up saving a demon from having his like mind controlled by this demoness lady and they essentially go on this quest to help other demons get out of this mind control of this demoness by going to kill her. It's so funny there are so many funny scenes in all these books. I love book number, um, I think it's 1.5 in the series. It's a novella where we meet Alexis, who's a talking sword, who's like all hot and bothered. It is so funny. These books are so funny and fun. They are like fantasy romance books, but they have this comedic relief to them that are, that's just so refreshing. You don't really see that in a fantasy romance book. Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey is an older one, but I feel like really holds true to it's comedic relief. This one's about Georgie and Travis. Georgie is the younger sister to Travis's best friend. Georgie, her whole life is known as like the baby of the family and her family doesn't really take her all that serious, but she wants to change that. She needs to change that. So she gets in this fake dating relationship with Travis. Um, he has his own reasons for needing to be in a fake relationship. He is a famous baseball player, by the way, and he's in back in town because he hasn't really been on his game recently. He's taking a break. But this book is funny with like the shenanigans that they get into. Georgie is a very quirky, funny character. She's actually like a party entertainer, a party clown, if you will. And I love all the things that she gets into and the funny one-liners that she says, even when they're like intimate together like she makes it fun like she makes it really fun which I absolutely love. Next I have Neighbor Dearest by Penelope Ward. This book starts out with our heroine in a therapy appointment with her therapist online like through the computer she's having like an online one um and she's telling her therapist about this hilariously mortifying occurrence that happened to her recently like like it's awful but it's so funny at the same time and she can hear someone snickering and someone laughing she's like where is that sound her next door neighbor could hear through the wall and hear her entire conversation Ab she was absolutely mortified <laughs> and so they don't really get off on the right foot because she's so embarrassed anyway there's just a bunch of other funny occurrences happening in here but this is a friends to lovers romance they don't really get off on the right foot but once they become friends it's friends to lovers but there's some secrets that both characters are keeping in this one i love this series so much so i'm gonna mention two books in the love line series by Cara Bastone. these are audible original audiobooks that you can get through audible i think you can also read them on kindle limited if i'm not mistaken but you have to listen to audiobooks. They are so good. They have like a full cast. Each character gets their own narrator. There's background noises, ambiance, like it's really good. I'm just gonna be mentioning two today. I'm gonna be mentioning book number one and book number three. So book number one is Call Me Maybe. Also, I'm mentioning these two because I think it feel like they're like the funniest out of the both. There's more funny elements to both of them. So book number one, our heroine is having some trouble with a website she's trying to create. And she ends up being on this like customer service call with one of the workers who helps build websites um, for like hours. And they end up flying for each other basically over the phone through these like customer service phone calls. It's really funny. Like they have pets that get into shenanigans on the phone and just like have these funny conversations and like vulnerable moments that end up being funny as well. Like it's really good. And then book number three is seatmate where both characters end up meeting on this long bus ride to new york and if you've ever been on like public transportation like funny bizarre things are gonna happen like ridiculous things are gonna happen they're gonna meet ridiculous people on there so this was a grand old time too they could end up just falling for each other while on this bus ride i'm gonna mention one more audible original book this is a tale as old as time by l hey so this one our hero and heroine are also neighbors okay the heroine is kind of like sick of i think the next door neighbor's dog who just keeps barking and barking and barking all day long and so she puts a sticky note on his door saying like your dog is scaring my newly adopted cat like she's terrified you have to do something anyway they kind of like get in this sticky note 
war argument, putting sticky notes on each other's door, like trying to like fight with each other over sticky notes. And then one day they both open the door and their respective pets end up running out the door together and they have to team up to try and find them throughout the city. So it's actually really funny. I feel like the author that is the funniest when it comes to historical romances is Tessa Dare. Like Tessa Dare basically writes rom-coms and historical romances. So that's why I like him because I don't really love rom-coms, but I love historicals. And so when she puts like that added funny element in almost every single one of her books, I feel like it's just perfection. So these two books, uh, the first one is A Night to Surrender by Tessa Dare. Um, this one is the first book in her Spindle Cove series. This one's about Susanna and Bramwell. Bramwell is a veteran who really wants to go back to war. Um, and the king basically tells him, you need to form a militia in this ragged tag like little small town full of spinsters you need to form a militia there and uh then we can maybe see about reinstating you um but he has this really bad injury that's why people haven't really been at reinstating him but he doesn't really know what to do outside of the militia anyway ends up meeting Susanna who ended up creating this town with her father and it's their romance um it's so funny like the way that they meet is hilarious um there's like this herd of sheep coming down the hill and um, I think she ends up saving him or he ends up saving her. I can't remember off the top of my head from being like stomped over by sheep. He like bonks his head or something. And he's like thinking she's an angel the first time they meet. And he's like talking to her like she's an angel. Like, oh my gosh, I'm dead. Like, I'm so grateful I'm dead because I get to see you. And she's like, you crazy. You, you're crazy. Anyway, there's also this lamb that they have too, which they call dinner. It's really funny. This book is hilarious. And then another one I want to mention, because I could talk about Tessa Dare books for this whole entire video, but I do want to mention, do you want to start a scandal, is so stinky funny. Our heroine, <laughs> our heroine heroine end up meeting at this house party. If you don't know, house parties are like, basically like sleepovers for a bunch of people on this big estate. Like they all like hang out and have parties for days and days and days and days on big estates. Anyway, so... The heroine and hero end up meeting at this house party and they get into a little bit of a like argument when they're in the library and they can't really be seen alone because if you're seen alone and you're like single, people assume that you're doing something you're not and they're going to try and force you to get married. Anyways, they hear people coming into the library and they hide because they're like, we don't want to be together. No. Um, and then the people who end up coming into the library are getting it on and they're like <laughs> trying so hard not to laugh. But then other people are walking by and can hear it and think it's them. And so they're kind of like forced to get married even though the heroine's not wanting to do that. And so she's wanting to find out who actually was doing the deed in the library <laughs> like last week to figure out who it is so they can like clear their name essentially because she doesn't want to get married to this guy but then she gets to know him more and then she does. And the last book that I have to mention is an alien romance one that I was just cackling the whole time I was reading it. This is The Mountain's Mate by Sarah Ivy Hill. I don't know if this was meant to be a funny book, but for me it was funny. So um, it's a monster romance. It takes place on this different planet. Um, and the heroine is hired by the hero to kind of like be a spy and infiltrate this corporation that is abusing like alien animals and he wants to like free them. He is a human because they're very small. He is this giant creature. She can fit in his hands, okay? And it's their romance. <laughs> okay, the scene that had me absolutely dying laughing is they're trying to like perform this heist, right? And he can hear people coming in and he's like, hurry, hide. And he just shoves her in his pants. And there's only one thing to hold on to in his pants. And so she's like <laughs> holding on to that for dear life. Like it is so funny. I was laughing my butt off reading this. Anyways, they have a bunch of those where <laughs> 10 romances that were actually really funny to read. They're just fun palette cleanser books that I feel like other people should read if they want a good laugh. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a laughing face emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.